Hey there, this is Linda West, uh, Linda West Cellos, and I have two new BAM cases. These are both 2.9 slim models, but they are different than the past cases and they both have different features. This is the Panther, and this is the new Polycarbonate Supreme. All the high-tech cases up until now have had an ABS shell, that's a type of plastic. Um, it has an ABS shell over a polyurethane foam with a, another type of ABS on the interior, so it's their three-ply high-tech technology. This is utilizing that high-tech technology, only the difference is, is they have a thin polycarbonate shell, which is different from ABS. There's some great um, advantages to polycarbonate, and one of the advantages of polycarbonate is it takes much more heat to form it, Therefore, it's probably going to be more resistant to distortion or warping in a hot situations. If any of you have had a high tech with ABS and you've left your case open on a hot day, it may not close the same afterwards. So I'm hoping and I'm pretty confident that the um, polycarbonate doesn't do that. It is also the three ply. It is formed over the polyurethane foam. So it has that nice rigidity and strength and thermal um, properties that the ABS high tech has. Only this now probably has a more durable skin. It's less likely to dent or crack. ABS is a little bit more brittle plastic than the polycarbonate. So it is definitely not like the inexpensive polycarbonate cases that you're seeing out now. They're in the like the five, six hundred dollar range that those are just a single wall thickness. They're kind of flimsy and flexible. This, because of the high-tech technology, it's rigid, it's strong, it's super lightweight. The, those other ones are lighter than a, a standard fiberglass case, but they're still heavier than these. Okay, now we're gonna go into um, the Panther. The Panther is also 2.9. I This has a um, the ABS shell. But on top of the ABS shell is this kind of a rubberized uh, surface. And we're trying to figure out what the heck does this feel like? You know, this feels, and I finally figured it out. It feels like, you know, on the playground when you're playing with those big rubber red balls and play handball and dodgeball with on elementary school, it has that, that kind of surface, a rubber ball surface. So it's very sticky, you can pick it up. It's not very slippery. This has more of a slick feel. The polycarbonate case has kind of a, a fabric-like feel, although it's hard plastic. So um, the rubber has kind of like touching your rubber ball or rubber tire or something like that. First, we want to weigh it because obviously that's important in the cases as we found out don't always weigh in what they claim to be. So I'm going to start with this polycarbonate supreme case. and it's holding at 7.6 pounds, okay? That's pretty light, that's uh, comparable to the 3.5 weight. So they're heavier than the, the standard 2.9, which is more like six and a half pounds. Okay, I'm gonna weigh the Panther now. zero it out because it was sort of said that it had a number before I started. And I'm not confident that I got it accurately. So now this one's coming in at 7.4. So the Panther, I don't know that it's lighter. It might be. So it's going to be about seven and a half pounds. I'd say this is within a tenth of a pound of accuracy. So the polycarbonate case has a a slicker surface there's some texture but he's it's got some friction I'm just pointing that out because this one definitely is sticky so if you leave it on top of your car and drive off it won't slide off <laughs> not that anybody would do that but I guess it could happen <laughs> yeah. so on the panther we're gonna look at the latches so here's the new BAM latch. Those of you who are familiar with the other ones, what happens here, we, each one has a lock. You have a button on the back and it kind of opens up at an angle. 
So to shut it, you just press it down. To open it, you just push the back button. And they feel really solid, um, not cheap at all. Um, the interior of this case, we have the same five latches. The interior is pretty much identical to all the other 2.9s. The, the upper pad here for the to seat around the neck button is adjustable, just like the other 2.9s. And sometimes I have to take the, the uh, pad all the way out for larger cellos. Shorter cellos, you can kind of secure it. Here we have a accessory pouch on here that is fixed and not removable. And we have our buckle neck strap. And we have our scroll loop, which again, you put it down passively, don't tighten it up too tight, just, just on the scroll so that when you open the neck buckle, your cello doesn't fall out. It has your usual lower pad, which supports the cello um, by the maple back plate and in in, down there by the end pin block, which is the best structural area. So it's a fully suspension case, meaning the rest of the cello floats on air and it just is contacting the two most structural port parts of the cello, which is the neck block and the end pin block. You don't need padding all the way around it. It just causes a possible abrasion to your varnish. We have two bow holders. Uh, the tip bow holder, I call it the tip because I put mine frog down because I like my cello. This is a pocket, closed pocket, which I put the frog in because then it can't break away. And this presses up against the tailpiece and secures your cello so it doesn't slide forward. You have an added elastic loop. If you need more security, doing some heavy travel, you can use that as well. So it's the same interior, nothing new. So that's a wrap. I just wanted to do a quick discussion about these new, new uh, cases. I have more detail. If you go to the 2.9 video, it gets really into great detail about everything. So we're wrapping up the quick review on the new Polycarbonate Supreme case and the Panther. There are different color combos. They're pretty much black with silver, black with black, silver with silver, silver with black. And I think there's a couple colors on the Panther, uh, maybe three different colors, but I'm not 100% positive. This is the first one we've gotten and we're waiting on the others to come out. So you can check my website, I've got more detail on there. And then you can always email or call me if you have any further questions or want me to take measurements of the cello case and make sure that it's going to fit your cello. I'll be willing to do that as well. All right. Have a great day.